I'm going to show you how to do a rotator cuff repair. You can see where I'm marking the edge where the rotator cuff is torn. Now I'm lifting up the torn rotator cuff. The edge of the rotator cuff should actually be attached to the very edge of the greater tuberosity. This next video is showing me pulling the torn rotator cuff back to where it should be. It tore off the bone, retracted medially, and here I am pulling it with my grasper showing where the rotator cuff should actually be located, but it has torn off the bone. Now I'm inserting a triple loaded 5.5 millimeter suture anchor into the bone that has stitches attached to it. I'm gonna use these stitches to repair the torn rotator cuff back down to the bone. I just finished putting in my anchor. I'm now pulling out the screwdriver and you're gonna see a set of sutures that are firmly anchored to the bone that were located in that suture anchor. I'm now gonna take these sutures that are firmly attached to the bone and I'm gonna repair the rotator cuff with these sutures. Now you can see me passing the sutures through the torn rotator cuff with a suture passer. I pass the sutures through the rotator cuff, piercing through the tendon, and now I'm going to grab that one suture, the blue colored suture, with my two finger grasper, pulling that to the outer part of the shoulder. And now I'm going to put a second suture that is the partner to the first blue suture that I placed. And I'm gonna do this for a total of six sutures, spacing them, spacing them evenly across the torn rotator cuff. This is how I pass the sutures through the tendon to do the rotator cuff repair. I'm gonna grab that second suture, again, pull it outside of the shoulder joint. I'm gonna repeat this with two more pairs of sutures, which will give me a total of six going through the torn tendon. The next step to repairing the rotator cuff is tying the sutures down after they've been placed. Here I am grasping two more of the sutures to place them through my tissue piercer to pass them through the rotator cuff. I pull them out through my cannula. What you can't see is I'm placing my suture through my tissue piercer outside of the shoulder joint. I'm now gonna pass that suture again through the torn rotator cuff tendon. Here I've passed all my sutures through the tendon and I'm pulling them to bring the rotator cuff back into the normal position where it was located prior to the tear. After the sutures have been passed, I now will tie them down. I actually will make a knot outside of the shoulder joint and pass the knot using a knot tire through a clear cannula down into the shoulder. I'm going to place four suture knots into each suture, which will secure the rotator cuff medially or closest to the shoulder joint. And you can see I've now tied the three sutures down. I'm gonna now place a second row of sutures to reinforce my repair. This is called a lateral row anchor. I've passed three of my sutures through this suture anchor. I'm now going to screw it down into the greater tuberosity area of the humerus, which is going to reinforce my repair. There I am screwing the suture anchor down into the bone. I'm now gonna go ahead and pull my screwdriver out. And now the rotator cuff has been repaired. I'm showing you where the sutures have been tied into the rotator cuff in this area. You can see where the repair looks excellent. The torn rotator